Dear friends, we would like to testify how God's grace is laboring in the Ukraine. Despite of coronavirus restrictions, we have been carrying on our regular activities, which is fishing, by other words, visiting Jewish families, helping potential alim to prepare their papers for obtaining Aliyah visa, providing them with transport to visit Israeli consul, and to bring them to the airport for the flight to Israel. For more than 20 years, we have been blessing Holocaust survivors with food parcels, which have been purchased with donations received from Christians from all over the world. Brothers and sisters from the local churches in Ukraine have not only provided financial support to the project, but have also been practically involved in preparing the food parcels. Through the prophet Isaiah, the Lord calls us to comfort his people, and we find it comforting, first of all, to visit the survivors of the Holocaust, to pray for them, and to listen to the stories of their life and salvation. In the year 2021, we blessed over 330 Holocaust survivors with a delicious food parcel. One of those we visited was Lina. Together with her family, she was driven to the ghetto in Odessa in 1941. As soon as her family gone, their neighbors appeared to take away their belongings and clothes. They had to survive in terrible conditions, as in one house there were up to 50 persons staying. Crying children, lack of food and water. Lina as a girl was entitled to get one frozen potato a day, while the rest of her brothers got only one quarter of potato. One day Lina's parents and brothers were taken away, and Lina didn't see them anymore. Right after that, some lady came in and took all the rest clothes with words, Anyway, tomorrow you will not need this anymore. When Lina tried to hold her mother's shawl, that lady kicked her. From that time Lina has had problem with her hip joint. Later on, she and another boy were taken out of ghetto under the rubbish, which was transported on the carriage. Finally, when Lina finished her story, she mentioned that she lives for her children and grandchildren and promised to meditate over Aliyah to Israel. We are so happy to testify that this story is not over, as Lina's grandchildren are in the process of preparation documents for Aliyah. Please remember them in your prayers. One of the important steps for a Jewish person before he or she would make Aliyah is to get ready sometimes the whole bunch of different documents confirming their origin. It is not just a figure when you see five or seven people were helped to visit Israeli consul. Quite often there is a whole story behind. In many cases our local reps literally visit governmental institutions like archives, marriage registry offices, etc. together with Jewish people. Like family of Tatiana, her daughter and her mother from Krivoy Roh, a big industrial city in the center of Ukraine. At some stage we even received permission from Israeli consul for online video meeting with Tatiana's grandmother, who was not able to come due to her health status. Apart from different kind of documents we helped Tatiana to issue, we also brought her with daughter and her mother to Dnepro city for meeting with Israeli consul. Finally, this family made Aliyah last June. We are so glad to testify that God prepares his church for the days ahead. It's a great joy to see our local brothers and sisters ministering Jewish people next to us. I am talking about not only prayer and financial support, which is vital, but also some churches provide vehicles for bringing Alim to the airport for the flight to Israel. That is our aim, to share not only our vision, but also practical experience in serving Jewish people. So far, by God's grace, in 2021, Almost 700 Jewish people made Aliyah with our support. Quite often our drivers make 5-600 kilometers one way to bring Alim to the airport in different circumstances, weather and road conditions. We praise the Lord, as thus far He helped us, He saved us and Alim, and none of them He left behind. Many of you may have watched video A Little Daughter of Israel about little girl Mariana, who suffered few health problems and last year moved to Israel with her parents. After medical treatment there, Mariana is able to stand almost on her own, which is a great achievement. But this is not the end of the story. 
We have been in touch with Mariana's stepbrother, her father's son from first marriage, for a long time. However, only after his father's aliyah, Sasha started to discuss his repatriation seriously. It's worth to say again that he was also the one whom we helped to obtain international passport and to bring to the airport for the flight. Praise God, last August Sasha made Aliyah and now all the family reunited in the land of Israel. We are amazed how God works with his Jewish people, gathering them one by one, family to family. We are all very well aware about Naali and Sela programs for young Jewish people from the nations who have opportunity to continue their study in Israel. It's a matter of fact that over 90% of them become Israeli citizens soon after they study. With Svetlana's family, we have been in contact since uh, 2018. We helped her son Artyom to obtain international passport and then to fly to Israel as Sela student. To the surprise of their big family, grandma, aunts and uncles, Artyom liked Israel very much. Now he is a soldier in IDF, and it's not difficult to guess what his mom and dad did. Last April they moved together with Svetlana's mom, Artyom's grandma, to Israel. And last but not least, three months before that Ebenezer helped Svetlana's brother's family to make Aliyah too. We paid their passports, provided transport to visit Israeli consul for them, and later brought them to Borispol airport, which means over 800 kilometers distance for our driver. So, one seller student pull alone to Israel few families of six people total, and that is God's deed. Surely, we wouldn't be able to do this without your generous support, both prayerful and financial. To our Lord Yeshua be all the glory. Amen.